before I knew it, I was 40 pounds overweight and I couldn't stay committed to losing it. I became insecure wearing shirts as it became tighter, taking my kids to the park and walking to the house without a shirt on. I hated looking at myself in the mirror. One day I finally had enough. That's when I heard an ad for semi-glutide at the Louisville Men's Clinic. Weight loss with amazing results. In weeks, I noticed the weight falling off, and within three months, I was down 30 pounds. I couldn't believe it. It worked. The best part is the Louisville Men's Clinic offers this to women as well, so my wife and I joined together. And now, I'm back to wearing large t-shirts and flexing around the house. Thanks, Louisville Men's Clinic. If you used to feel like me, don't wait. Call them today. Start your weight loss journey at the Louisville Men's Clinic. Call 502-444-4000. 444-4000. Or visit louisvillemensclinic.com. Read, inspire, change the world again. Join thousands and find which volunteer opportunity is best for you. Call 1-800-424-8867 today. Or visit www.getinvolved.com. This message is brought to you by the Corporation for National and Community Service Administration. What do you mean he's not coming in? This is our busiest time. The mixologist at Claude's Bar is moving to Manhattan. I'm already down two barbacks. No one's manning front of me. Now he needs an equally cosmopolitan replacement. How am I going to find a new bartender before New Year's Eve? Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Instant Match instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your sponsored job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. This report is sponsored by Pfizer. It's going to be a chilly day for today with highs in the upper 40s. Overnight lows dip down into the mid-30s. Nice sunshine on Thursday and warmer with a high of 60. I'm WLKY meteorologist Suzanne Horgan. Time is of the essence with COVID-19. Prescription oral treatment must be taken within the first five days of symptoms. If you have a high risk factor, ask your doctor if treatment is right for you. Learn more at treatcovid19.com. This is where the blue and red nations gather. Sports Talk 790, number one for sports. According to FBI data, break-ins and property thefts spike this time of the year. That's why Simply Safe Home Security is offering up 50% on any new system. To save up to 50% on any new system with a fast protect plan, visit simplysafecolin.com. One of the reasons the Jets brought Aaron Rodgers in is when you are a dysfunctional franchise, and it's the same reason they brought Brett Favre in. When you're a dysfunctional franchise and you've got structural mayhem and chaos and ineptness all through a building, one of the reasons and ways to solve that can just be, go get a great quarterback. Sorry, guys. I mean, that's, that's, that's one of the ways you solve problems in the NFL. Just go get a great quarterback. Now, usually if it's in the draft, that quarterback can't overcome chaos. Andrew Luck was good enough to do it. Um, I, think, I think Caleb Williams at USC could overcome a lot of chaos. If you look at the Houston Texans, a year ago today, they were the laughing stock of the league. They got the coach right. They got the quarterback right. Now you're like, that's a playoff team. That's what's great about the NFL. It's the league of hope. Bill Parcells once took a 1-15 Dolphins team. He didn't even coach. He said, I'll, do, I'll be the GM. I'll fix your roster. He gave it to Tony Sperano, rest in peace, and they won like 11 games. Like it doesn't take that much in the NFL. Seven, eight draft Fuck picks, a couple me. free agents, the right coach, the right quarterback. The Chicago Bears, there's a story in The Athletic today that the Bears need to go out and get Jim Harbaugh at Michigan. I think he's more important to college football than he is pro football, but it is interesting. He's a Midwest guy, and the Bears are a huge Midwest NFL brand. The Bears are not that far off. They have a number one receiver in D.J. Moore. The Texans didn't. They had to go find Tank down in the draft. They have an elite edge rusher. Montez Sweat. Again, the Texans had to draft that. They already have Montez Sweat in the building. They already have a good left and right tackle. Braxton Jones and Darnell Wright. Look good players. Darn. And they have two of the top picks, like Houston did. So they could That's go get sick. a quarterback, like yeah. Houston, and the best defensive player in the draft, like Houston did. Will Anderson, C.J. Stroud, right coach. <laughs> Stir, got yourself, looks like a playoff team. So Chicago's actually got a, a number one receiver and a really good pro in the building who's already an edge rusher. So there's a lot to work with. Also, that division for the Texans is wonky. So is this one. The Lions are good but fading, and they're going to lose Ben Johnson, their OC, in the offseason, and he could be the magic potion in that building. Minnesota, who's their quarterback? Green Bay, I like Jordan Love now. 
Well, we don't know if he's the future. He looks better now than he did five, six weeks ago, or he's a disaster. But there's a lot to work with here. Or he could stay at Michigan with the NCAA, especially if Michigan wins. They may be in a very, very bad mood, and Michigan taunting them, winning a national championship, NCAA could come down really punitively. Also, Harbaugh's going to lose 18 Sorry. to 20 players in the draft. Sorry. Wouldn't it be an advantage like it was for Jimmy Johnson early in Dallas or Pete Carroll early in Seattle, where you go to the NFL and you know the college personnel much better. Tom Coughlin went from Boston College to Jacksonville in the NFL. He just knew the personnel better than everybody else. So there's a lot, there's a lot going for Chicago if they get Caleb Williams, the best defensive player in Harbaugh. It'll be interesting. Now, Michigan still recruiting. Uh, the five-star quarterback out of uh, Detroit, Dante Moore, who played at UCLA for a year, transferred out. He's visiting Michigan, so as the Buckeyes lost a quarterback this week, they could be gaining a five-star quarterback from their state. That would be a reason to stay. But um, the Athletics saying Chicago should go after him, and I think you can look at the blueprint of the Houston Texans. You get the coach and the quarterback right, that second early pick right, get the best defensive player, which Houston did, rinse and repeat it. it. It really is what makes the NFL great. You're always a good draft and the right coach away from being maybe not a Super Bowl team, but certainly a wild card team in playoff final. J-Mac with the news. No, 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 no. You're on the news. It's the headline news. We may have to start talking to transfer portals. Some inter interesting names in there. Right? I'm kind of into it. I don't know. So much. There's like there's some. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not trying to take a shot at Oklahoma. Why did Oklahoma's quarterback leave? Like where, Oklahoma's a top ten quarterback. No, I mean, but I mean, I don't understand it. Oklahoma fans, Siri or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's. We'll have something on him later in the show. And the coach at Oklahoma's a defensive guy. The coach at Oregon's a defensive guy. Right. It's not like he's going to some wizard offensively. Like, he's not going to Lane Kiffin, or he's not going to, you know, like a, a Lincoln Riley who has a success record. Or a, I just don't understand why, why you would leave Oklahoma to go to Oregon. They're both great programs. Who do you think can offer more NIL money? The Nike program? Uh, Oregon. That's we'll get to that list. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, anyways, let's start with the 49ers, Colin. There's a funny quote. So, uh, obviously, it blasted the Eagles 42-19. Redemption for Brock Purdy, four touchdown passes, elevated to an MVP favorite, according to this show. Um, Trent Williams, his mammoth of a left tackle, wasn't surprised by the result. He had a great quote. I had full confidence we would have this type of game from the jump. We got a quarterback, so it made it a lot easier this time. <laughs> Colin, I looked this up. Last year in the NFC title game, Purdy was hurt on the first series. Yeah. So at some point, we need to just throw that game out. Like of We course. can't even consider That's any right. of it. That's right. And, by the way, meanwhile, it's still 7-7 seven, seven, with, like, three minutes. I digress. Um, fair. I, After Christian McCaffrey scored that touchdown against the Eagles in the NFC Championship, yeah. oh, I think everybody in the building thought, oh, here oh, they come. Yeah, but it was Josh Johnson, who's yeah. now working at Outback Steakhouse. Well, and yeah. uh, no reason to take shots. I'm just kidding. That's not a shot. He's old and whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm just... Uh, I just, I just look at the Eagles and the way they 